today we're talking about compassion. Compassion. I'm not a college graduate, so don't look for me to cross all my T's and dot all my I's. All right. All right. Somebody say, just keep it real. That's the only way I know how to preach is by keeping it real. I don't have to have an education if I just keep it real. I can help somebody, including myself. Somebody say, keep it real. We won't prolong the time. Listen, can I take my, my jacket off? I know, you know, some of y'all old sanctified churches, y'all don't allow like for the preacher to have poor put eloquence, but <laughs> I like to take it off. Amen. Amen. I'm like my son. I, I wear a lot of clothes. I like clothes, but sometimes they get in the way when I, ah, that feel better. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Amen, amen. Compassion. I've been thinking about this all week, uh, all, ever since my son told me. I, when he told me what he was doing, I said, mm, hold on. Say no more. It's already in me. Compassion. Yeah, he's a papa. He's the lines in which I'm going. I, I said, okay. <laughs> Holy Ghost, what can I say to your people? Because I don't know what to say. I, 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 I really, I, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I don't know what you need to hear. But how many know the Holy Ghost knows? He knows exactly what you need to hear. So I, give him, I put myself in the position that he can use me. Amen. Speak through me. Have your way. Amen. Amen. Is that all right? Just give me a few minutes. I just want to talk to you. All right? Now, first of all, we want to go to the book. And this is the way we get it out of the book. Amen. I'm, I'm not going to be jumping over the, I don't have to be get ready for no jumping over the benches and swinging from the chandeliers and all that. We just want to get us a Good understanding. Okay, okay. Amen. Turn your Bibles, if you will, quickly to Matthew 25, 31. Amen. Without God, hmm, I can't do it. Maybe you can. Hallelujah. Having to have compassion, we first of all, hallelujah. Let's go here. The Bible says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all his holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon his throne of his glory. Folk, let's understand one thing. The reason we take a lot of foolishness from other folk is simply because we have one goal in mind and that's to get to heaven. Okay. Is that right? Yes, it, I mean we come, we come, we, co we come because we come to realize that after being on this side 
there's another side. That's life after death. And when we came to that understanding, then we saying, well, how do I get there? So my question would be to you today, how do you serve God? Can, can anybody help me preach today? How do we serve him? Say it. Don't be, don't be, don't come. We all family here. What? But see, she said by praising him. I'm on the right track. Can I get another one to help me preach? You can say you preached this morning. How do we serve him? Shut up. You trying to get ahead of me. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, that, I go into jails and I, I ask the question. A lot of times I ask the men in jail, how do we serve God? I get all kind of answers. Some say by praying. Some say by reading my Bible. Some say uh, by going to church. But how do we actually really serve God? And the preacher over there just summed it all up. By serving one another. Come on, somebody. If you have any other way of serving God, I want to see you do it. Go out there and give the, uh, huh, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a silver dollar. I want you to go out there and give it to God. You're going to throw it up in the air. That silver dollar going to come right back down and pop you right in the top of the head. Boom! <laughs> well, I gave it to God and it come right back. You cannot build him a house. The Bible says that the earth is his footstool. Oh, okay, Heaven is his throne. That's right, now, if the earth is his footstool, how in the world can you build him a house? Little old you. Watch it. The Bible says, when the son of man shall appear in his glory, he's going to gather, he's going to sit upon his throne. He's going to gather all nations before him. Is that what the word say? And he's going to take and separate, is that right, the sheep? Like a shepherd separates his flock, he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. Is that right? Now, in the separation thing, going on, he's going to place the sheep on his right and the goats on the left. How many know there's going to be some preachers over there on the left? Uh -huh. amen, amen. Somebody said, keep it real. That's right. That's real. That's right. It's going to be some missionaries on the left. That's right. Is that right? right. Keep it real. It's going to be some church going folk on the left. Come on now. We're talking about compassion. He going to say to these on his, I'm, I'm going to try to get out your way. I ain't going to stay here long. This is quick. He going to say to these on the right, come on in. Thy blessed of my father inherit that which has been laid up for you from the foundation of the world. Right, right. Come on in, baby. 
Come on, this is, this is what you've been working for. Come on, come on, come on, get it. Then he said to him, what he said? Because you saw me hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was naked and you clothed me. Y'all follow me in the book? I might skip something, but if you, follow, if you got the book, you can see it. He said, I was, I was thirsty. So since so you gave me a drink. Sick and in prison. And you came and you visit me. But you know what I like preaching? Before the folk went to go in there, they said, hmm, hold on. That's this part I like. When did I see you? When better did I see you hungry and I gave you something to eat? I thirsty and gave you drink. When you did it unto the least of these, watch this, my brethren, you did it unto me. See, we have the thing, we think that uh, when we read this, we, if we don't take our time and look at what God is saying to us, the first thing hit our mind, I got to give it to the the drug addict, I got to give it to the prostitute, I got to give it to everybody I run into, but watch the key thing here. My brethren. Are you with me? Yes, yes. Now God said, I didn't say that. That's right. That's right. That's right. He said, when you did it unto the least of these my brethren, you did it unto me. It's almost next to impossible for us to do it for everybody that's on the face of the earth. Are you with me? But then we have a tendency, if we, 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 kind of folks, some of us, we'll do it to some folk, even though if it is my brother, I, but you're not sitting with, I, I don't mind, I get pastor something because he pastor. But what about that one sitting back there? He, uh, do I have it right? Now it's with compassion. It's come in. I see God's little old Christian that's not being able, my brother, uh, he's, he don't have means such like I have. He may not be able to make ends meet. The way that I can. But yet he's my brother. I should have compassion enough to say. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Matthew 11. 11. 7. 21 say not. Everyone that cry, Lord, Lord, woo, am, am I saying that right? Just cause you going to church and you cutting your little step. Come on, somebody. But you're never showing any type of compassion. Because I have a college degree, 
I'm above little old you. Because I'm able to ride in a luxury car. I'm better than you. But I want to let you know today that compassion is not just for the one that's equal with you. But he said when you did it unto the least. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If my shoestring came loose because I'm a preacher, I could say, hey, come tie my shoe. Probably I'll two or three of them men to come up. But you get another fella. He, he may have on a dirty pair of sneakers. Oh, I'm going to leave that alone because somebody might get mad with me. Somebody say, keep it real. Somebody say, keep it real. How do we serve God? We serve God by serving one another. Are you with me? And how do I find, as you say, try the spirit by the spirit? Once I see that there, you come to me and you tell me, say, listen here, brother. I may not be able to ride like you, but... I accept Romans 10 and 9 Uh because the Bible said that if I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible declared that I'm saved too. That's That's what he said. But we have a tendency that when we look at folk like that, that they, 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 don't, they don't have what we have. We have a tendency, come on, we got to come down off that horse. We need to come down off of that horse looking down on God for he, 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 when, when, when he made that decision, when he made the decision, he said, when, when they were, ooh, anybody got to go, anybody, give me, somebody help me, show me a glass of water right quick, right quick, or, or, or anything with some liquid, show, show me, yeah, there they are, look, here they are, the Godhead, watch this, woo Watch this. I'm off street. I'm off the street. Y'all own that for me, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I got to show you something here. Watch this. Watch this. Don't worry about that. That's the Holy Ghost. Man. <laughs> it ain't sitting there. Man done got so wicked, and they looking. They so wicked down there. I so I'm going to just strong them. I start all over again. I'm going to destroy man, fire, I'm going to just get everything. But part of him, that part right there, say, hold on. Prepare me a body. Woo, compassion stepped out then. All right. All right. Compassion came out of the body, All right. out of the Godhead. And say, hold on, prepare me a body. And I'll go down. And I'll redeem man back to you. Come on, somebody. Are you with me? Are you with me? That part that came out on the earth, there he is. He's from the Godhead. He walking around to show men yes, sir. this is how you have compassion. Are you with me? Right. Are you with me? Right. He did what he had to do. Hallelujah. He went on Calvary's cross. Yes, he shed in his blood. Yes, he didn't stop right there. And they, they're still here now. Right. He went in hell uh-huh. and got the keys from the devil and brought him back and gave him to you. He got the keys to healing and gave it to you. He got say hold on. I, I, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I got the 
go back and I sent another. And when he, when he come, say, I just want you to go over there and I want you to wait. Just wait until he come. I got to leave you now. I must go back. But I'm going to send another. I'm going to send another. Hallelujah. And while they was waiting, while they was waiting, and they was calling on him, somebody said they was praying. And all of a sudden, I came as a sign of a mighty rushing wind. And it began to set upon him. Whoa! Now, with him, see, you cannot do it. Somebody say, how do I have compassion? Where do I get it from? I'm going to let you know today, it come through the way of the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost in order to make it through. You need the Holy Ghost to give someone some water. You need the Holy Ghost in order to give someone some bread. It takes the Holy Ghost to give someone clothes when they are naked. It takes the Holy Ghost to invite a stranger into your house. If I don't say nothing else, I want to let you know you need the Holy Ghost in order to have compassion. You need the Holy Ghost to, 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 to show you how to minister. It takes the Holy Spirit. See, now, he done sent him back. He going back to the Godhead. All right? But the, the, the three of them, they still, they still operate. But see, this one, long as Jesus was here, cause I would have to tell John, move out the way. Let me lay my head in the center of the bosom. But Jesus said, no, no, wait a minute. I'm going to send another there's some women need a comforter. It's some, it's some women. It's some women in here need a comforter. Cause, cause, cause old, old curly head Joe, the soul of my dream, and they ready to throw up the hands. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it real, y'all. I, 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 I like to keep. It's, it's some heartbroken. It's, it's some, it's some men in here. Just heartbroken. Are you with me? Don't you feel like the Lone Ranger, baby? He sent him here to you too. Are you with me? Are you with me? Huh? All you need, my brother, is the Holy Ghost. If you're finding problems and if you if, if you find it hard to show compassion, you need the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Spirit. See, you start talking about the Holy Ghost to some folks, especially black people. They start thinking you're talking about something. But, but I'm telling you, he's alive. He's a teacher. For those that, have, that, that was hard-headed and didn't listen to your mom and your daddy when they told you to stay in school, and now you end up a dummy walking around here, I'm here to let you know. It's all. It's not over. It, it, it's not over. Get the Holy Ghost. Get the Holy Ghost. Get the Holy Ghost. Go and seek the Holy Ghost. Get the Holy Ghost. Get the Holy Ghost. You get the Holy Ghost. I saw a man that couldn't read and write. He could not read and write. If you wrote his name big as St. Peter's Church, he wouldn't know that was his name. 
But before Ella Jenkins died and left him, he was finding him sitting on the front porch reading the newspaper from, from front to back. But it was the Holy Ghost that taught the man to read. Are you listening to me? He, y'all just think it's just something just written in the book. But it, he, he is real. Are, are you listening to me? Are you like, I'm, listen, listen, listen. Get the Holy Ghost. Touch your neighbor and say, receive the Holy Ghost. Brother, brother, wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. When I come off a of skid row, I thought only thing I know how to do was knock me and I. That's the only thing I did. I, 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 you told me anything else? I said, no, I don't know how to do that. I, I, can't, I can't do that, but I can knock him out. But after I got saved, and the folks, the preacher told me, said, brother, you need the Holy Ghost. I said, well, how I get, where you at? He said, keep coming, you get it. Come on, come to church. And I began to understand who that fellow was. And when I came across the scripture, I saw in there, the boys came to Jesus and said, Jesus, I want you to teach us like, like John taught his disciples to pray. Jesus said, well, when you pray, pray, Abba, Father, which is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Watch this. Thy kingdom. Woohoo! Woohoo! Thy kingdom. Come. See, see, if you ask him, he'll come. Just ask him, say, Kingdom, come. Hallelujah. Say, I need to learn how to walk like you. I need to learn how to dance like you. Kingdom, come. Because it's God's will. Let your will be done. See, because in order for me, y'all sing that song all the time about I'm sending up my temper. But I, you ain't got to send nothing up there. It's already there from the foundation of the world. It's already in place for you. Uh, all you need to do <laughs> Hallelujah Are you with me here? Woo! Also See then it's, it's not hard To show compassion When you have the Holy Ghost <laughs> It's not hard to go down there in the bar and tell them, cut the music off for a minute. I want to talk to them. It's not hard to tell them, y'all put your dice down for a minute. I want to talk to you. I walk right up in there. I don't care who you are. Uh, oh, I don't, poke chop, I don't care who you are. I, it doesn't matter to me. You understand? You're not. You, yeah, yeah. Here come that old big mouth preacher. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Sometimes I put my baseball cap on and turn it around backwards, and they don't know who it is walking up there until I get there. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Sometimes I shine that old black truck up and make those 24 inch rims really spark. So, oh, he want us let him in. And when I get there, then that. That's that preacher. Rare! How did you 
you get that truck? Rare! Where did you get those alligator shoes from? I'm glad you asked that question. Let me tell you, it all came through the Holy Ghost. When, if you get the Holy Ghost, it is nothing. It is nothing that you can't do. I believe I can fly an airplane if I want to. When I start showing compassion and walking in it, somebody gave me a sewing machine. Betty, I could take it all apart and put it back together. When he was a little old boy, I bought me some clippers. I said, I'm finna start cutting hair. Sign here, boy. Holy Ghost! Y'all might think it's a joke, but somebody say keep it real. The Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! I'm finding it so hard to show compassion to the one that broke in my house and stole all my gold, all my jewelry. But love said, come on, I got another suit you missed out. Take it. The Holy Ghost is real. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, he is. He's real. Yes, he is. And the only way that you can show compassion is by having the Holy Ghost. Without the Holy Ghost. Now, now I'm, 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 I must tell you, I, mean, I can't stop right there. I got to tell you what's going to happen if you refuse do what he told you to do. All right? Now, he said in his word, hallelujah, let's keep it, let's keep it, I'm, I'm finna, I'm, 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 I'm stopping now, but he's going to say, all right? Watch this. Then shall the king say to, unto them on his right hand, come, ye blessed of my father, inherit that which has been prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was a hunger and you gave me meat, and I was thirsty and you gave me drink, and I was a stranger and you took me in naked and you clothed me. I was sick and ye visited me. I was in prison and ye came unto me. Then shall he say, uh, uh, then shall a, a righteous answer him saying, Lord, uh, when saw we thee a hunger and fed thee a thirst and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in a uh, naked and clothed thee? Or uh, when we uh, 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 saw thee sick in, in prison and came un, uh, 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 unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, in as much as you have done it, uh, to one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say unto them on his left, depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was a hunger, Lord have and you didn't give me nothing. You didn't give me no meat. Nothing. You got some folk that'll do that today. You got some folks that have it and won't do it. But they call themselves saved. And he's telling you, this is what the word saying will happen. I'm not saying this, the word saying it. Amen. Now keep, let's keep it real. This is what, how many believe what the book say? Now the book said it. And watch this. 
And then he said, for as, my, as I was a hunger and you gave me no meat, I was thirsty and you gave me no drink, I was a stranger and you took me not in, naked and you clothed me not, sick and in prison and you visit me not. Then shall they also answer, uh-oh, here come us. Here come us. Man, when I call you and didn't do nothing for you. That's us. Let's keep it real. That's this. When we walk in this. See, the Holy Ghost will have you where you will walk after the Spirit. You would want to be like Jesus. Are you with me? He said, though they that walk after the Spirit shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Are, are you with me? But follow after the Spirit. And the only way you can follow after the Spirit, you must have the Spirit in you. And he come by way of what? Holy Ghost. The ones that are void of the Holy Ghost can see a person thirsty. They'll pour it out on the ground. They, 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 without the Holy Ghost, instead of giving it to the ones that are naked, they rather throw it in the garbage. Come on, keep it real. Keep it real. But compassion, hmm. uh, I, I, listen, it's a, those of you that know how to read. There's a lot of honey in that scripture. Somebody says more honey in the rock. I just don't have time to. Are, are you with me? Are you with me? But I believe you got to understand what I'm trying to say to you. Somebody say, we need the Holy Ghost. 